Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and Bible journaler, and I'm working through the third week of Advent in this series based on Isaiah uh, chapter 9, verse 6, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And I'm taking each one of those titles each week and working on a page based on that. And this one is actually out of order because I'm taking the last one and then the next one because the next one is going to have a manger in it. But I wanted to do a different candle. And I found a picture on the internet of this beautiful close-up of a candle. And it was this gorgeous teal candle. And I thought, I want to try recreating that in my Bible in this very impressionistic style that, that I just love to do and that I've been doing for all of this series and showing you just some techniques on how to blend the colors and that sort of thing. So I've sketched this out and I'll, I'll have the sketch for you as a link in the doobly-doo or you can just draw the shapes really easily. They're not difficult to do and it's a melty candle so you can make it do any old thing you want, melt any old way. And I started by putting some teal on the inside portion of the candle and purple in the background and I'm just throwing a little bit of yellow right along the edge of the flame. And I'm careful to not add too much yellow because yellow and purple, since they're complementary colors, will turn into brown. So you don't wanna to add too much of that. And then I'm gonna take more of my teal color and paint the other part of the inside of the candle. And in the picture that I saw, there was all of this beautiful color in the background that was really soft, like the back side of the candle melted into the background. So that's sort of the look I'm looking for is to create that front edge of the candle and the flame creating that this emphasis that really makes the flame stand out. Candles and flames are wonderful imagery to use in Bible journaling. So you can use this any time of year for lots of different verses. I've chosen to go for John 14, where Jesus is talking about peace I leave you, peace I give you. And since I'm looking at Jesus as the Prince of Peace this week, that seemed an appropriate verse to address. And next week I'll be doing a manger in actual Isaiah 9-6, the verse that inspired this, the study that I've been doing and this series. So the front part of the candle, that one at the bottom, has a white edge at the top of it. And notice that I painted, you know, kind of a messy line at the top section, and then I just took a baby wipe and dabbed it off to soften it. Now I'm mixing a darker color. This is a regular cobalt blue. I'm just kind of mixing that with the cobalt teal blue, that turquoise color, and getting lighter as it gets toward the flame. And then I'm gonna use the baby wipe to make sure I have a soft edge all along that. And as I start adding more color, you're gonna to start to see the candle get some depth around it because that bottom section is gonna go dark and then the inside of the candle and the background are gonna go dark because that's what makes light look light is when it has dark to be in contrast with. If you light a candle in a light bright room, you don't really see any difference with the candle. It doesn't really have any impact, but in a dark room, a candle has great power. And that's just so spiritually symbolic as well with Jesus being the, the light of the world. So now I wanna really increase the contrast around that flame. So while the bottom part is drying, I'm gonna put a lot of nice dark color right at the bottom of the flame and on both sides of it. Just kind of let that dark color set inside there. And then you can make the edge of the candle as melty and drippy as you want it to be. You can adjust the shape of it and everything. That's why I say you don't really need a sketch for this one. It's more of just make a, a wiggly line for the front edge of it, draw your flame, and then a wiggly line for the back edge. And if you're doing this in a column on the side of your Bible, you'll have to adapt it a little bit to make something like this fit. You can just make the candle much taller than this one here. You're only seeing the top part of it. So now I'm adding another layer to the purple. 
I mixed a, a dark purple again, and I'm letting it touch the wet edge of the teal back of the candle and letting that soft edge be in contrast to the hard edge that's on the front part of the candle. And I'm just going to dab up some of these places. The Bible paper gets a little wrinkly and then it holds color in the wrinkles. But if you dab that out a little with a tiny little bit of uh, baby wipe or paper towel or something that usually lifts it up. I do tend to prefer baby wipes because they don't lift up on like a, a dry surface. A dry surface like a paper towel will suck up all the moisture. If it's a baby wipe, it doesn't suck it up quite so drastically. So you end up with softer edges. I like soft edges. So now I've got that background starting to really make the flame pop out. The flame starting to really appear to be much much more important in the picture. And I've put a little bit of blue at the bottom because sometimes you get a little blue flame and then some yellow in the center of it and then let the rest of it be white. Now you could stop here and most people would stop here. I don't stop here. I keep going because I really want to light up the darkness with this page in my Bible. So I am just adding lots and lots of rich dark color and I'm not afraid of it. I, I have tested this enough that I know it's still not going to bleed through the back, even though I'm putting all this color on. You'll have to test your own paints. Different brands may act differently, so I don't want to say that it's always going to work this way, but watercolor is really safe on Bible paper that I've found. There's a few brands that bleed through, but just test the ones that you have, and you don't have to get super expensive ones. I use these fancy Daniel Smith paints because I use them for my art but you can use much less expensive ones. And you can get this kind of rich color by layering the way that I'm doing. Just let one layer dry, add more to it. Let that layer dry, add, add more to it again. And you can get these beautiful rich colors. So here I'm adding more to the center, but I'm using the baby wipe to soften out that top edge so that it starts to lighten. And then when I get to the background, I'm mixing a really dark purple with a like navy blue in it. And I'm making a really strong contrast now for that background so that that defines the edge of the back of the candle. You can probably not see a whole lot because I've got reflections on all this water, but you'll see when I'm, I'm done how this is gonna work. I'm also gonna soften that edge some because I don't want that hard edge. I went to all the trouble of trying to make it soft. So now I can go in and add some texture in the purple in the back. And I've got kind of a couple purples. There's some pinkish purple in there as well as some dark bluish purple. And I'm even throwing some of that purple down there in the very base of the candle, right underneath of where that flame is, and in the, the wick of the candle as well. And it doesn't matter that it's purple going into this teal blue. It just works with the whole thing, brings all those colors together. So now I'm going to add just a little bit more down here on the bottom. I <laughs> just keep adding more and more layers, softening up those edges and just tapping around until I'm satisfied with the look of it. And just kind of softening some edges. And then when I finished, I ironed it all and flattened it and added my text to it. And God gave me the word reveal. So I want him to reveal what true peace is for me right now. That's what my prayer for this week is that he'll do that for me and for you, that he'll show us what peace really is and what peace is in him. Because in this world, we have craziness going on. We want his peace in the midst of all that. God bless you. I'll see you again next week for the final video in the series.